Hello? Hello, Sydney. Sorry, wrong number. Damn it. Oh, gosh. Hello? Hello, Kyle. That's Kyle the 13th, to you, stranger. If you hang up on me again, I'll get you like a fish, understand? Sushi? Yuck. Well, someone's okay. How can I help you? I want to play a little game. Well, I have some time to spare. Go ahead. All right. Hard trivia. Name the main villain from the Hellraiser franchise. Okay, well, he was supposed to be called Hell Priest, uh, but everybody knows him as Pinhead due to all the pins coming out of his head. Uh, he was also played, for the most part, by Doug Bradley, uh, but the last two movies he had two other people uh, take on the role, which they didn't do such a good job. Uh, but, you know, Doug Bradley is the guy. That should answer your question. Fuck. A horror fan. Yo, what's going on, fellow junkies? Horror Junkies 519, Kyle 13, coming at you again today, you guys. And I'm back, you guys. Sorry about last week, you guys. I did have a video in the works, uh, but I was not able to complete it and upload it in time, you guys. You know, I always like to get my stuff out on Fridays, but me and Angelina were doing a video together and just uh, time wasn't on our side. So... I'm going to get this one done now and upload it for you guys. And I will be getting that other video with me and Angelina up later this weekend. So you'll be getting two videos this week, you guys. I'm trying to make up for last week. I know I can never bring bring back time. But you guys, I'm happy to say that everything is good here. I'm hoping you guys are having a killer day out there. And uh, hey, you guys, it's Friday. Let's live it up because the weekend is here. I plan on getting a little bit drunk this weekend because it's going to be fun. All right, you guys. So uh, like I said... With an intro like that, you guys, like you just watched, I don't think I left anything to the imagination about what this video is about. So, beyond all the, uh, everybody, I hope everyone's hunky-dory out there, because I know I am. Work's been going great, you guys. The new job, I'm getting into my flow of things. You know, I'm not anywhere near, um, you know, a master, and I probably won't be for a while. But, you know, I'm definitely enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, so, that's enough of me, you guys. You know, I am, uh, I'm excited to be back with you guys, you guys. No, I love doing these videos, and I get... To have a blast with you guys. So, like I said, the intro. Who was in it? I don't know. What's his name? Just kidding. All right, you guys. So, we will be going over the Scream, the ultimate ghost face action figure, you guys. Uh, to kind of break it down, you guys, I do have other uh, action figures that are in front of this. But they're kind of holiday-related figures, you guys. So, I have a couple Gremlins figures. And I got a couple Halloween. Not the movie Halloween, but Halloween holiday-related uh, videos. And halfway point of Halloween is coming up. So, I'm going to try and save those for that. And then the Christmas ones, I'm going to probably do at least halfway to Christmas video as well. Uh, doing those action figures, you guys, because they kind of have a tie to something. And then, of course, I want to do a video with uh, my next figure. I don't want to... If you see, if you follow me on Instagram at Junkies 509 if I can find my work today, you've seen it. But I'm kind of saving that because I want to make a special video for that, you guys. So I got a lot of great stuff coming on. So if you like what you see, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. To let you know when you can come back and check me out again, you guys. Uh, I hope you liked my last video of the Boogeyman mask. You guys, one of my favorite masks. Uh, not a crazy amount of views, so I guess it wasn't a very demand mask. But hey, you know what? I, I was in it for the fun, and I enjoyed making that video, you guys. Uh, so, since we're doing Ghostface, you guys, I just cannot open this box with my regular action figure knife. I have... The screen used, obviously, this exact knife was not used in the movie, but the screen used, the screen used screen knife, which is, it, it is a uh, buck 120, you guys, so if you want to go get one of these, uh, they're very sharp, I've heard many people cut themselves, I haven't done it myself, but doesn't mean it won't happen, just saying. Uh, so we'll go ahead and dig into this um, ghost face, action figure, using the ghost face scream knife, which... It's funny because some of the accessories I'm looking at, they, he has like three knives in this thing, and not one of them look exactly like this, which is weird. Uh, but maybe it's a uh, trademark thing. 
Because this definitely has the trademark on there, I think. Whatever it is. But yeah, buck 120 if you guys are interested in getting one. Uh, one of my favorite knives, you guys. So, like always, you guys, let's go ahead and first check out the box. We got a cool picture of Ghostface on there. And it says, Ultimate Ghostface Action Figure. On top says Ghostface. Side has a picture of him and it says Ghostface. And uh, another side. And then uh, we got all the credits on things on bottom, just like you always do. It's funny that, like, it just says Ghostface, like, it's almost, like, not connected to the Scream franchise, which is really weird. Maybe that's the way they had to go about it. Uh, and then here is the back. Uh, Ghostface right there for you. Uh, icon of Halloween Returns with the brand new Ultimate Edition action figure featuring over 25 of articulation and real, real fabric cloaks. So, it, it almost seems like this is not a Scream action figure. This is actually just for the costume, almost. Because it says, like, on this icon of Halloween. It's not, like, from Scream or anything. So maybe this has nothing to do with the Scream movies. Does anyone know? That's kind of weird. I did not notice that until now. Of course, w when I review it. I mean, I'm just stoked that we got one. So the other Ghostface figure I have is just atrocious. And I will do a comparison at the end here. All right, you guys. So let's go. Gut him like a fish. <laughs> I had to say that in my intro, you guys. I just had to. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and dig right in. And you guys already know, it's NECA and Real Toys. You guys know when they're in the business, you know what's going down. And I forgot to do one part. I got to open it up. And see, there's a little action shot that they got. And then there is all the goods that you can't see because of the glare. But I do it anyway. Because it's just what I do. <laughs> Man, Kyle, you really had a good explanation for that one. <laughs> Oh, brother. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Everything you need comes out on one little neat little piece. Is there a background? Ooh, scary. It's a scary window, you guys. Woo! I hope you guys are willing to keep that because it's the stuff of nightmares. Like a lot. <laughs> yeah, and I was actually for that intro, you guys, I was trying to get a, uh, a voice changer so I could actually do it all, do it right is what I would call it. Uh, but all the ones I find, just they, they're not good. They don't sound anything like them. I wish I could get a, get a hold of the guy who does the voice, and I would just have, have him do it. Not that I, he'd probably make me spend a lot of money. Uh, but anyway, you guys, that's my troubles, you guys. So let's go ahead and dig right into all the accessories, you guys. I will do the accessories first, and then we'll get right into the main event. Why is there a staple in mine? There's like a wire in his hood. That's interesting. Well, we'll get to that when it comes, you guys. So, like I said, the main event, you guys. Let's check it out. Let's check out all the accessories. Oh, brother. We have alternate hands. Oh, boy. All right, you guys. So, we got some really small stuff here, which always makes me very nervous. Uh, so here is the uh, voice changer, which I need one of these, the legit one. Like, I'm, that's not really going to come through that well. It's just a little guy, but I'm kind of cool that they added this accessory. Uh, I enjoy it very much. All right, what next? Like I said, he does come with three knives. Like, he comes with a very... Uh, and they have blood on them, which makes me very happy. Uh, like a traditional Halloween, almost like Michael Myers kitchen knife. Um, so with the black handle... That's looking pretty good. And then this one just almost looks like a little hunting knife. It's so weird. Like, like giving him all these weird random knives. I feel like the ghost face pretty much only used one knife. Uh, to my knowledge. Of course, I'm sure he used other things. But, you know. And here's the closest one to the Buck 120. As you can see, it's just... It's... It's... You see that it's trying to do it, but it's not quite doing it. And it's very little. But, you know, that's probably the one I'll probably pose him with because it's the closest to it. Uh, but it is what it is. And even with my other Ghostface figure, they didn't really nail the look of the knife. So it really makes me feel like it is like a trademark thing. And then kind of the weird weapon of the whole box set, it comes with a scythe. Which is kind of cool. Like, I might give this to, if they ever make, like, a Michael Myers Part 5. Uh, if they, and They'll probably give him one, but, you know... That's kind of cool because does Ghostface use a scythe? Like, I've watched Scream a lot, but some of the later ones I haven't seen as many times. Does this happen? Can you guys let me know down in the comments if this is a thing? I, I'm trying to think. The only scythe in horror that I can really honestly ever think about is Halloween Part 5 when he's in the barn. <laughs> oh, brother. 
All right, you guys. And I did say he has three alternate heads, which this is also what makes me feel like this is not like a Scream action figure. We have like the zombie. We did have the zombie ghost face until I decided to drop it. Did it go far away or can I get it? Or did it disappear? Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. There's a blooper for you guys. And I'm not going to edit that out because I'm real. I'm a real person. And I make mistakes. There's zombie ghost face, like, all cracked and weathered. I don't know. It's like, what, were they trying to make almost like Halloween, the remake mask? But it's the scream mask, I guess. This one makes a little bit more sense, uh, I guess. Um, this is like a blood face with some blood but i feel like it's very weirdly placed but i guess i mean it still looks cool honestly i'll probably just pose him with the uh with the uh regular one uh as far as my figure goes but i mean everyone gets an opportunity to do whatever they want here's a glow in the dark one which i kind of bums me out that it has to be green i wish it could be white and glow in the dark the same because i'm pretty sure there's white glow in the dark paint but whatever i'm not here to bust on it too much i i appreciate that they tried to give us more accessories and then we got two alternate hands, uh, which I always hate. But, you know, it is what it is, you guys. Um, one accessory I think this thing is definitely missing is, like, a gun. Like, you know, I feel like all the ghost face, I mean, usually not while they're in the suit. They all end up with a gun. Like, you know, the killers. Like, Billy and Stu and then Billy's mom in part two. They all end up with gun at the end. It's so weird. But, I mean, not really necessary. But it's just one of those things that they also could have added it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the main event, you guys. Like, I'm really, really excited about this. I love the Scream franchise. I know not everyone is a complete fan, and that's fine. Uh, it is out there for, for people who like it or dislike it. And it came with a beef jerky thingy, if you guys need to dry out your uh, beef jerky. And I do love that this is real fabric. I am very excited about this, because this is going to look awesome. So, you guys, here is a good look at the head that I will be keeping on. And you see that little wire right there? I have a wire sticking out. Let me know if you guys have that as well on yours. It's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, so we got real cloth here, you guys, which is super cool. Um, let's see. Like, he's fully... Yeah, he's He's got, like, legs that are detailed. But, like, anything above that is just kind of just a action figure body. Like, a very uh, blank mold, I would say. Uh, but it's fine because it doesn't really need to come off. It would have been kind of cool if they would have given us alternate heads. Like, you know, give us like a Billy head or a Stu head. I think that would have been kind of cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through articulation. Uh, he seems very stiff. So if you guys get one, uh, make sure you're being very careful. I can't tell elbows. He feels like he has a double elbow joint. Uh, but I can't lift up the cl uh, the skirt or the, the cloak enough to tell. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to be careful with this guy because I really like him. I want, I, I need a ghost face, a legit ghost face, guys. And they definitely did not give him, like, the glittery um, cloak, like, from the original Scream movie. So it really makes me feel like this is not, like, made for Scream. This is just a ghost face figure. And the hood comes off, so when you want to replace the heads, let's see how easy this is. Did they make it easy? <laughs> no, they did not. This is not easy. Yeah, so I will probably just keep that bad boy on there, at least for now. But, I mean, overall, I think I like the sculpt. I think it looks really cool. Um, but joints, I the head is definitely on a ball joint, you guys. Uh, shoulders, um, th this is just very stiff. This might break. Um, so he's got the sh uh, shoulder in and out. So he's, his arms could probably go 380 degrees, but, you know, the, the cloak's going to have an effect on that. Um, it feels like a double jointed elbow. I really wish I could see this because it'd make me feel so much better. Everyone's gonna be like, you're looking at Ghostface's underwear. It's like, no, I'm not. Ugh. Okay, so I am seeing a single jointed elbow. Okay, that makes me feel a little better because I don't want to try it. If it's not, you know. All right, so single jointed elbow, you guys. So just one bend. And there we go. I did get it. He's got the wrist articulation. The elbows are in a really weird spot, which kind of is like, it almost feels like it's like right there instead of where it's actually supposed to be. But, you know, I think overall it still looks pretty good. We do have the wrist swivel. 
Uh, we do have, like I said, the elbow articulation. He does have an abdomen crunch, and, like, so you can pose him. Wait, didn't, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I wasn't crazy. I was like, I could have sworn I saw it, but it wasn't. Yeah, there it is. And then, so he also has the no waist swivel whatsoever. Uh, but then he's got a uh, ball joint for on the legs, uh, the thighs. And then he's got one knee joint, and then he has the uh, ankle articulation. So, decent for this character. I mean, I don't think he needs to have too much crazy articulation. Uh, but I'm happy to have this action figure, you guys, because he is, he was definitely needed. Like, the previous Ghostface figures have, are definitely out of uh, range, you guys. They definitely need an upgrade. And I'm definitely happy to see this guy. Uh, let me know if you guys have him and what you think of him. I just think he looks great just like that. I can't wait to pose him up with his knife. And uh, maybe I'll give him the voice changer as well. Uh, but overall, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a solid... I'm going to give him an 8. I feel like they could have done a little bit better with the body. Uh, you know, giving him a full body. Like, you, giving us uh, maybe alternate heads for of the killers. Uh, but like I said, this might not be connected to the movies whatsoever. Uh, but still, I think it's overall awesome. I'm definitely glad to have this. Um, if we When we get a comparison... This is the other Ghostface figure I have. He's very dusty. Uh, but this guy can hardly move. Uh, it's all just hard plastic. But, you know, super glad to have him. This is a very needed upgrade uh, from this guy. This guy's not going anywhere. But, you know, just is great, you guys. I give it a, an 8 out of 10. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have anything else you want to know about this action figure, guys, let me know down in the comments, and I will get, make sure I get back to you. I will try and show off the rest of his stuff uh, a little bit better in the pictures at the end here. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, this figure, pretty awesome. Very stiff, so be very careful. Um, don't want to be breaking him like I probably will at, at some point. But articulation is what he needs. The accessories are good. But, yeah, I definitely don't think this is connected to the movies in any way, any way shape, or form. But if you guys know, let me know. So 7 out of 10 for me. Horde Junkies 509 signing out just until next time, you guys. And you already know it. I've been sentenced to life. I am a whore lifer. And you guys have a killer day. And always, I've been forgetting this lately. I give this action figure a solid... Um, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm wearing rose-colored glasses because I am really excited about this. But I am forgetting to do uh, the stand test. Let's just see what we got. Put his little accessories over here. All right, you guys, I gave him like two or three really good uh, hits. Uh, he was making it through all of it, but eventually he did go down. I think he's going to be a decent stander. He does have the ports for the stands if you want to get them, but I'll honestly, I'm sticking with my 8 out of 10, you guys. I'm stoked to have it. I think it's going to be awesome up on the shelf, you guys. So, like I said, you guys have a killer day. And stay bloody, my friends. And come back for my other mask reviews that are coming up and all these act figures I got going on. We got a lot going on, you guys. 2021 is rocking and rolling. You guys have a good one. All right, then. What is your favorite scary movie? Now that is one loaded question. My favorite horror movie. Well, here we go. Oh, God. Never mind. Are you happy with your wireless provider? Yes, I am happy with my wireless. Hello? Hello? Huh. Whatever. Wasn't very nice.